The Toronto Blue Jays snapped a five-game losing skid against the Tampa Bay Rays with a 6-2 victory tonight at the Rogers Center. Thanks in part to Sean Markham, who pitched eight scoreless innings en route to his fourth victory of the season. And once again, bringing the Blue Jays within one victory of the 500 mark. A big home run by Roland. So, uh, yeah, it was, a, it, was a, it was a great ball game. It really was. And, and um, you know what? I don't know how you can pitch any better than Sean's been pitching. Sean, great performance tonight. Two games in a row now with great outings. Explain your recent success. Uh, just keeping the ball down, locating pitches. Um, makes pitching a lot easier. And then when you got guys like Scott and Vernon playing great defense behind you, that helps as well. For the most part, how'd you feel out there tonight? Felt pretty good. Um, was locating my pitches well early and then there late in the game as well. So, um, but I mean, it, it's pitching. You got to go out and do that if you want to win. And the guys did a great job playing defense and scoring runs there in the eighth. Great performance tonight. The Blue Jays will call yet another young arm to the mound tomorrow. Jesse Litch in his 4-1 record against the 2-3 Edwin Jackson in the rubber match of this three-game set. A game in which the Jays desperately need, knowing that the Red Sox are rolling up top the AL East. And beginning Friday, they embark on a 10-game road trip starting in Cleveland. Reporting at the Rogers Center in Toronto, I'm Shad Dills. Stay tuned. Hockey highlights from Hockey Town are next. To Detroit we go for Game 1 of the Western Conference Finals. Marty Turco has never won a game at Joe Louis Arena. Pick things up in the first, Terry Philbola brought down Red Wings to the power play. Then on the ensuing play, Thomas Holmstrom and Mark Fistrick tangle up. Bill McCreary separates the two but only calls one penalty and the Wings have a five on three and Dave Tippett is disgusted. Lidstrom off the post. Rebound to Brian Wolfalski who fires at home. It's 1-0 Wings and Hockey Town is alive and well. Later, Toby Peterson called for holding. Another Wings power play. This time, Nicholas Cronwall from the point and it's tipped by who else? Number 93, Johan Franzen. Franzen had nine goals in round two against the Avalanche and wastes no time getting on the score sheet in round three. His 12th of the postseason, it's 2-0 Detroit. To the second period, Zetterberg streaking down the right wing, fakes the shot, wraparound attempt is stuffed by Turco who flashes the paddle. Detroit oh so close from going up three. Midway through, another Stars penalty, another Wings power play, and another Wings goal. Holmstrom tips Lidstrom's shot from the point. Both skates clearly in the crease, doesn't matter, the goal stands, and then, this. Nicholas Cronwall absolutely lays out Antti Miettinen. He played a great game defensively and offensively as well. Cronwall to Samuelson to Philpola. Tic-tac-toe. The Wings are in cruise control. Late in the second, the Stars finally get on the board. Steve Ott off a rebound. He trims the lead. To the third we go. And more Steve Ott. He takes a run at the 46-year-old Jelios. Both teams then jawing away at each other. And Bill McCurry then comes over to Ott and has a few words and says, son, I've seen this before, just stick to the game. Ott then takes his advice. Here he takes his shot, fires one off the post. He is denied. Chelios and Ott get reacquainted. Chelios wants no part of him, but he wants every part of the Wings victory. Detroit goes on to win 4-1. They get power play goals from Holmstrom. Filpola, Rafalski, and Franzen, who is the story of this postseason so far. Wings take the lead in this best of seven series, one game to none. Game two goes Saturday back in Detroit.